Welcome on Easy Learning. Now in this part of the video, I am going to cover a new poem written by poet Robert Frost. It is stopping by woods on a snowy evening. As usual in this part of the video, I am going to read about Robert Frost and I will recite the poem stopping by woods on a snowy evening. And then in other parts of the video, at first I will explain about Robert Frost and then I will explain the poem Stopping by Words on a Snowy Evening. So without wasting the time, I am going to read this uh, poem Stopping by Words on a Snowy Evening and about the poet Robert Frost. Stopping by Words on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. Robert Frost, born in 1874 and died in 1963, often called the New England poet, was born in San Francisco but moved at an early age to New England on the East Coast. Okay. Returning to the States, he devoted himself to poetry and teaching. He also worked as a newspaper editor, cobbler and farmer. His poems describe ordinary people and simple settings in a very simple and lucid language. But his apparently simple themes often contain complex meanings. He bears a close resemblance to Wordsworth in his love for nature. His works include A Boy's Will 1913, North of Boston 1914, Mountain Interval 1916, New Hampshire 1923, West Running Brook 1928 and A Further Range 1936. Frost won numerous awards including two Pulitzer Prizes and by the time he delivered his poem The Gift or Right at the inauguration of President John F. Kennedy in 1961, he had achieved the status of an official poet laureate of America. Recitation of the poem Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening Whose woods these are I think I know His house is in the village though He will not see me stopping here To watch his woods fill up with snow My little horse must think it queer To stop without a farmhouse near Between the woods and frozen lake The darkest evening of the year he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds they sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep.